You're listening to Live Music Showcase, WMNF Tampa 88.5. I'm your host today. I'm Ken Apperson. Here in studio, we have a band that um, personally I've been kind of low-key paying attention to for a little while now. Uh, we have some uh, some commonalities and friends uh, in the music industry locally here in Tampa. And you guys have uh, formed a really cool band. Uh, some of you guys have been playing in the area relatively a good long, good amount of time. I know Adam there in the drum room's uh, hired gun for a couple of bands around town, but it's not so much about Adam today. It's about <laughs> Navin Avenue. How are you guys doing? Good. Thank you for having us. I am so thrilled to have you in here. Shay, uh, your songwriting style and your, your voice, um, I got to see you play solo when we did that show at the Independent mm -hmm. forever ago. Yeah. Uh, and I was I was just entranced by it. I think you have just a beautiful voice. Oh, thank you. And I can't wait to share your music with the listeners. You guys have a new album that yes. you just finished. You just yes. released it. Yes. It was in the works for a while. It was, yes. It was uh, COVID delayed, I would imagine. Yes, exactly. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. But now it's out. It is. And uh, people can hear that on all the different streaming platforms, right? All of the different streaming platforms. And then if you wanted to buy an actual hard copy, we have a limited edition version that is available through Bandcamp. Ooh, so, that's exciting. Yeah. yeah, Navin Avenue is the band today. I'd love to hear your first song. Okay. Um, this is called Warp Chopin Waltzes. Thank you so much. This is WMNF 88.5 Live Music Showcase.
You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF. We're live in studio with Navin Avenue. If you would like to see the video element of this show, guess what? There is one. There is one. It's radio, I know. But we do have a live stream going on right now at our Facebook page, WMNF's Live Music Showcase. You can go and check out right now. I'm, uh, I'm looking at the camera right now as we speak. If you're watching the live stream right now, do us a favor. Drop us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. I always like finding out. It's the craziest thing because the Internet, you know, takes this show that's locally based in the Tampa Bay area and it essentially broadcasts it potentially all over the world. It's really interesting to no me. Pressure. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, they're, they're very fine. They can't touch you here. That's right, yeah. And, they, and you can't hear them in here either, so right. you're good. <laughs> it's after the fact. No, you're fine. Right. Um, the beauty of this show, too, is that, um, it, and it's a reflection of the local Tampa music community, and you guys know that because you guys are a big part of that, um, how supportive that community is yeah, and how different that can be compared to other parts of the country where there's a music scene where the musicians sure. are not as supportive to each other. That's one of the things I love about this community here it's and why so I genuinely think, and I say this on the show all the time, this is the gospel that I'm trying to spread. <laughs> this Tampa Bay music scene deserves to have a national spotlight. The bands that exist in this place, not just because they're, they're good souls. you know, That's not a good <laughs> enough reason. No, it's because talented bands like yourselves deserve to have that spotlight you really do so that with that in mind um first of all that first song that was actually i think the first song i heard of your album oh yeah yeah um i love that it's such a cool song your 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 um your writing structure is unique it's Thank different. <laughs> yeah. It's different. It's not a compliment yet. <laughs> I'm getting there, but it's not yet. No, but the thing is, when when a band tries to go too conventional, too formulaic, mm -hmm. verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, boom. They're like, oh, that's a song. That's a hit. Fine. There's a place for that. Mm -hmm. There's also a place for writers who want to defy that convention and say, you know, no, I'm not going to write that way. I'm going to write the way that this song needs to be written. Mm -hmm. And sometimes structure plays a big part in that. So I hear that in your writing. Would you say that that it's, I see you nodding your head, like that's part of your process, huh? Oh, well, so my process is mostly, I approach all of the songs from mostly the lyrical standpoint. Sure. And um, I consider myself more of a writer than a musician. So I write the songs the way I know how to do it. You know, so it's not like this intentional process or thing like that. But um, I try to do what the song wants. And if that means having no chorus or having the chorus at the end three times, you know, then that's what it is. But yeah, I try to follow the song rather than try to force it to be something. Spoken like a true artist, <laughs> truthfully. And I'm, I'm, I'm really like. With all of the bands that we have in here, and we have every kind of band in here, every kind of genre on this show. And one of the things that I absolutely love uh, to, to hear about is the, the, the consistencies between them. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we always hear, especially from the bands that like prioritize the art and the message, is that. I always love to hear that you've that you've decided to, to start from the lyrics mm -hmm. and work from there. Because that's not always the easiest thing to do. Yeah. So with that song, how long did it take you to write that song? Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I had a feeling. <laughs> I don't know. There are some times when songs do come pretty quick, and then there are times when if I get two lines a week, then I'm happy with that. So it really... It varies, so I wouldn't be able to say. And especially, we've been working on this album for a while, so some of these songs, even though they're newly released out into the world, we've been sitting with them for years and years. So Sure. Yeah. Do you have another one in your repertoire you're going to play today like that? I'd say they would mostly all be. I mean, there are a couple songs on the album that are newer, but even we started recording the album in 2019. Sure. So And it was delayed because of COVID and things like that. So even our newest song is still at this point three years old, you know? Sure, so, absolutely, yeah. yeah. So um, I definitely want to hear another song. And then after that, um, I love the Shay and Derekisms. <laughs> you already know what I'm talking about. You have a very honest persona on Facebook, or at least it comes off as yeah. very honest and very like genuine on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I want to talk a little bit about that. Okay. But I want to hear a song first. Can okay. we do that? Yes. Okay, wonderful. This is called Cassidy Road. <laughs> The 
this one left me something Now I'm stuck with nothing So I'm taking a walk down the dusty road A pair of field of Donald Next to a field of clover Bring them out of the cost of their flows I like feeling of the sky Pressing blue against my skin In a little while I know the sea It's bound to do me in Bound to do me in But on days like this Listening to Live Music Showcase on 88.5. I'm Ken Apperson. We're live in studio with Navin Avenue. Very cool song. Thank you. I like the punk rock influences in there. Uh, just a little bit, just a little touch of it. Uh, yeah, the it's obvious that you guys, while I, I, I think, and tell me if I'm wrong, I think Shay, you're probably the principal songwriter. Yes. You, you have the, uh, you write all the lyrics, you write all the lyrical melodies. Yes. And you probably like start with the main structure, like you were saying. Yeah. Now, when you, when you do that, do you then take it to the band and you go, okay, guys, here's what I've got. What do you got? So every song is pretty much done in terms of like, I could go play it out solo. Right. And then, yeah, I bring it to the guys. I send them, you know, my little demo recordings off of my phone or whatever. And then, you know, sometimes we talk about the overall feel of the song, but I kind of, I really admire everyone in this band and their talent and their skill and what they can bring to it. So I'm not trying to dictate what they do. Sure. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of like that old managerial method of, you know, you hire the right people so you don't have to micromanage them. Right. Uh, that's clear in this case i can see the way you guys perform especially in this setting for the listeners at home uh this is not always the most comfortable place to perform <laughs> music in a in a radio studio uh, broadcasting over the airwaves uh, and when you're as a band when you're in those kind of you know anomalous situations you rely on that trust that you have in each other so you don't have to worry about what everybody else is doing yep. so i that's clear it's yep. wonderful it's great um so <clears throat> The, the Derek and Shea-isms, right? <laughs> yeah. How does Derek feel about the Derek and Shea-isms? Um, I mean, what are... What, all of the things, our quotes and you quote our, conversations? our conversations, documenting... I'm all. okay with them. I feel like sometimes I'm taken out of context. But... <laughs> I think sometimes he forgets what he says, too. <laughs> I, I, I think sometimes you interpret what I'm saying. <laughs> Should I pull out my Dr. Phil <laughs> impression right now? No, no I'm just kidding. No, so I mean, what I mean by that is, um, and and not just the Derek and Shea-isms, but like, um, I see you on there, and I've interacted with a couple of those posts, mm -hmm. um, you know, being really honest about, you know, how you're feeling as a songwriter, how you're feeling as an artist. And art, artists, I, I like to think of myself as an artist sometimes. Yeah. Um, but you we are, are. We are very emotional people. Yes. We are very emotional people. <laughs> um, 
so it's nice to have someone who can help us temper those emotions at, at some time. And I know you and Derek have been together for how long have you guys been together? So 16 years, 16 years, 16 Today's years. Our, Today is actually our fifth anna- anniversary, our fifth yeah. wedding anniversary. Oh man. So. But this is been, the WMNF yeah. Live Music Showcase fifth wedding anniversary of Shay and Derek yes. from Navin Avenue special yes. officially. That's what it is now. Uh-huh. Okay, so so sixteen years you've been mar- married for what you say five. Yes. Okay, you're in a band together. We've had this issue. I say issue. We've had this topic come up before with bands. Mm-hmm. Did those lines intersecting ever cause problems in the band or at home? This, uh, this question is open to the other bandmates, too. I, was gonna, I don't way. think so, but... I think we've learned to kind of keep any issues at home so we're not making them feel uncomfortable. And Them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else, you no. know. But, you know, like I said, we're all, we've all had bad days, so there have been times when we've all come up to band practice and, you know, it's like, okay, keep a wide, wide distance. We'll just, you know, get through this and get home. But, you know, for the most part, I think... Derek and I are, you know, we're married, but we're also friends. And then we're friends with Jeff and Adam. Like, you these are my best friends. Them? No. No? Okay, good. <laughs> like, they were, like, walking past the building. To, hey, you, you look guys cool. want to play bass and yeah, drums? That yeah. sounds good. No. No, of course not. Uh, well, that's good. I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's not about every day being sunny. It's about knowing how to weather yeah. the cloudy, stormy days. Yeah, that's and that's really what you do with your friends. And that's what you do with the people you care about, for sure. So... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, on that note, um, I do want to talk a little bit about our uh, our mutual friend, Sean Kyle, and yes. his role in recording this album, because I know he was your producer and your engineer for the, yes. the bulk of it, right? For all, yeah. For all, for all of, of it. it. For all of it, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's talk about that. But first, let's hear the next song. Okay. This is called A Little Warming. Days of fear, how sad it's in. To some vague and pale for sleepless nights. And I heard a little, the pull of light. The lamp throws on the rug beside the bed. I try to do right, I try to listening to live music showcase on 88.5 we're live in studio with navin avenue for their five-year wedding anniversary <laughs> special yes. uh, no so i so uh sean kyle friend of the show friend of the station um he's done a handful of wmnf events he is a i i think of him as a very good friend of mine uh he's i've worked on music projects with him he has his 
fingers in yes. like every aspect of the local music community and mm -hmm. it's it's pretty wild to see uh his level of influence regarding that so him being the producer uh on this record i had i had a very interesting experience with that i shared it with him too but i'm curious to hear when you guys like sat down with him you were like okay sean here's the songs that we wanted that we want to do mm -hmm. um that process especially with a guy like him who's not going to pull any punches he's not going to beat around the bush he's going to tell you it needs this and this and this and this mm -hmm. or it's a non-starter right was that your experience with him as well well we were straight up with him that what we were doing was a concept album sure and so we there were things that just couldn't change you know right. and so these are the songs this is the album you know and he totally understood that and he was on board you know and so he was just like okay let's let's figure out what we need to do to make these songs a little bit tighter better dynamic because i think we all kind of play a lot and so he kind of helped us make the songs breathe a little well, bit more and if i can, if I can say, yeah i think course. early on we kind of stated to him that like because he was like well nowadays you don't want to do an album you want to do a single and do this and that and we were like we're more interested in like creating a piece of art than making like a, a song or a pop song sure. or something you know so i think like once we put down that like to us this is an artistic project i think it kind of changed some of those initial you know well you guys should do this or you guys should do that and he gave us pretty free reign but he gave us he gave us like pointers on like that's a little too busy or that's this or that maybe cut down i was too busy on a lot of it <laughs> <laughs> we're guitarists man we like to play all yeah, the notes yeah. All the notes, fill the space. No, uh, so when it came to making those decisions, um, I mean, as a, as a writer, as writers in general, uh, and we talked about this a few weeks ago with Alt-J, like there is this feedback loop that you can slip into if you're not careful, where when you start to scrutinize your own writing and your own work, and suddenly you, you look at it and you're like, none of this is good enough. What am I gonna do? And then you get stuck. And then just like that, you get stuck in this loop. Now, you guys spent three years on this album now with a with a bit of a hiatus because right. of COVID. And, you know, we always talk about on the show about how, um, you know, COVID was kind of like the great catalyst, you know, for bands. It was like, well, I'm either going to do this for the rest of my life or I'm going to do something else now. And you guys clearly are the former. Right. Um, what was, if there was, was there a pivotal moment or like a, 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 a moment, especially for you, Shay, where you're like, you know what? No, we're going to finish this. We're going to do this album. We're going to release it. Well, I mean, when we started this, the vi my vision for it was very specific. Sure. And so in my mind, we were going to make it work however we had to. And, you know, it was hard taking two years off for COVID, but we wanted to be safe. We wanted to do what we all felt comfortable with. Sure. But I mean, the way I conceived of this project, and by project I mean band, but yeah. also the story of the album, it actually covers three, it's going to encompass three albums. So the narrative arc is going to go over three albums. And so, you know, I already have all, a lot of that planned out. And so once we decided to start it, it's like, we're in, we're in this now. So, yeah. Okay. 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 I'm, I'm hearing that. So, I mean, when you get into a project like this, especially concept albums, which are ambitious, mm -hmm. uh, any, any band you know, Burke brothers, uh, have gun will travel, mm -hmm. you know, or, or one yeah. of the only, uh, local bands I can think of off the top of my head that have accomplished just finishing one, mm -hmm. let alone like trying to market one and, and seeing where it goes. Um, did the marketing element of it like come into play at all? Or were you just like, Nope, art first. We'll think about the marketing later. That's kind of, that was one of the things that Sean helped us with. Okay, all right, yeah. We are not, you know, we're all like musicians or, you know, writers and musicians. Sure. And I think we're all lifers, but we're not the kind of people who are like, well, how can we succeed and how can we sure. sell this? And, you know, I think all of us, if it was like, how do we market ourselves? Our answer is just, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> <You> know, like... <laughs> well, I think that it's, I come back to this point so often because it's poignant so often. And the listeners of this show, I like to think, I like to hope that a lot of them are, are musicians, aspiring musicians. 
um, and people in the music community that probably know you who you guys are now. If they didn't, they knew they do now, which is I think excellent. But um, there is something to be said about the when you're like forming a band and, and collecting band members. There's a band member who does social media. You know, yeah. And Sean, I think, served that function for you guys. As far as marketing goes, not necessarily social media, but like helping you guys think about it in that way. Yes, telling us kind of because how we, I think, approached it was like, yeah, we're going to record this, and then we'll just, you know, put it up on Bandcamp or something, and then you know we'll be done. And he was kind <laughs> of like, well, no, you should try no, to no. <laughs> do a little bit more than that. You put all of this time and effort into this, and you know, so we had to start thinking about that, and I think that changed how we approached that's why we made like the physical copy where we sure. have you know a lyric booklet with um color photographs that i had taken and a little you know explanatory zine that goes with it too and so we're trying to because it is a story we kind of wanted to put the lyrics in the front and you know kind of let people know that this is a story without walking them through it or holding their hand through the story okay this happens and then this sure. happens you know um, so it did play into it a little bit, but we're still, we're still not, good at not great. Hey. I mean, I throw things up on Facebook or Instagram, but it's mostly just about our cats. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I think that kind of, that cat marketing has yeah, its place yeah, on yeah. social media. It's very effective. Exactly. Uh, so first and foremost, as we're talking about it, where can people go? Where can they learn more about how to buy that hard copy and how to listen to your music? Okay. So. Do you want to talk about that? You're the one who's been handling the... I mean, it's you can you can contact any of us through Facebook if you're local, and I'll come drive it over to your house. But <laughs> we, Delivered. Uh, I love it. Yeah, but uh, we also have a band camp set up. It's sure. Navin Avenue, the full name, um, .bandcamp.com, and it's got a merch page for uh, shirts and, and the f physical CDs we have left. Love it. We're only making, we're, we're only making that initial 100, so... Once they're sold out, it's limited done. edition. There, yeah, there won't be any more physical copies. There you go. So if you want to find out more information about Navin Avenue and find out more information about where to get their merch and their music, that's where you got to go right there. Uh, I would imagine you could probably also Google search you guys. You can find you guys on uh, Instagram and Facebook as well. What's the mm -hmm. name? Of, what's your Instagram handle? Um, I think it's Navin Av. Yep. I at think. Navin Av. At, Love on it. Instagram. Yeah. Um, it's not as used used that's so okay. you can find me on instagram and that's dear vasily but um mm -hmm. facebook is probably the best because then you could just google my name shay krispinski or whatever mm -hmm. and then you'll find us but yeah if you google it something about us will come up <laughs> somewhere I love that. <laughs> wonderful so uh coming up uh i want to talk just a little bit about um <laughs> you probably get this everybody every musician in the world gets so oh, you sound a lot like oh <laughs> I want to talk about that here in a minute, just because okay. I, th I think I have a th idea of what you might have heard in the past. Okay. And I'm curious, like what the listeners think, who the listeners think you sound uh, like as a vocalist too, and as a band. But first let's hear another song okay. here on Live Music Showcase. Um, this is called Handful of Flowers. <laughs>
So you better believe I'm now the promised land It's a hard day for years But you better believe in all the promise made. You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. I just posted a link on our Instagram story where you can go and listen to Navin Avenue right now. If you follow us on Instagram, all you have in order to follow us on Instagram, all you have to do is search live underscore music underscore showcase. That's our profile. That's how you find out all of the information going on with the show on Instagram. If you're an Instagram person, I know there are different Instagrammers and (laughs) Facebookers and it's kind of like, you know, back when we were teenagers and it was, you know. It was Twilight. It was, uh, I don't remember the guy's names because I didn't watch it. But, uh, you know, the werewolf guy or the, uh, oh, the vampire yeah. guy. And then earlier than that, it was NSYNC or Backstreet Boys. <laughs> so you're laughing because you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Uh, no, I was thinking of something completely different. Oh, what were you thinking of? Please, yes. What were you thinking of? Like all of those, like from the 60s, like horror movie, like months. Oh, creature yeah, features. Creatures, creature features, yes. <laughs> I was not thinking of like. I like that your brain, your Jacob, brain went there. Yeah, I know. That's great. Jacob, yeah, that was I've one never of them. watched Twilight, so that's why my brain did not go there. Right. But. Not great writing, in my opinion, <laughs> no. frankly, in both the book form or the movie slash made for TV movie oh, looking form. But uh, so speaking of writing, you're a writer. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Now you've completed a novel. Yes. You're working on getting it published. Um, well, I tried, and you okay. know, and that's a very difficult process. Yeah. So, um, after you know, a handful of well, maybe like I don't know, fifty rejections or so, I was like, all right, we're going to put that in the drawer, and I'm going to start a new one, and hopefully, this one will be better. But, yeah, you know. So when it comes to, I've heard you know earlier, you were like, you were like, they're musicians, I'm a writer. So you think of yourself as a writer over yes. being a musician. Yes. Even though you're in here right now holding a guitar, yes. singing lyrics that you wrote. Yes. Why do you why do you have that identity for yourself? Um that's a good question. because writing is where I feel more comfortable. Okay. And you know, that's what I went to school for. And okay. so I've had training and this, I mean, I just taught myself so that's I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> <laughs> well I would argue that that can't possibly be true leading this band and writing the music that you've that you've written I think maybe the difference being that you found your way through it as opposed to having formal direction to it which there's something to be said about the ability to do that yeah. on one's own uh, I mean band members guys uh, as far as a band leader goes pretend like she's not in the room how is she uh, as she's turning around I think she's blushing Are you blushing we haven't even heard their opinion yet how is she as a, as a band leader you guys fantastic. I can't I, uh, sorry yeah fantastic she's a fantastic band leader what's your favorite thing about Shay as a band leader you're on the mic now. Now I got you. She she doesn't <laughs> let us have fun at band practice. Okay. No fun. No fun. Okay. All business. Daddy's mean fun. Mommy's mean business. No, that's an old uh, "Honey, I Shrunk the Kid" yeah. quote. Did you did you hear? Have you, never mind. Okay. We'll talk about "Honey, I Shrunk the Kid" later. Okay. Um, so I was mentioning before that song. Um, I have an idea of who I think you sound like as a singer. You probably get that all. Oh, you sound just like. Oh, I love this person because you remind me of this. Blah 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 blah. Um, I would love it if the band members, any any guys, any of you guys who want to participate in this, j- jump on in. But I'm going to count to three. Okay. And when I count to three, I want all of us to say who we think Shay sounds like as a singer. All right? You ready? Okay. Me too or no? No, I'm no, Shay okay. can't. No, you can't. You have to just be part of it. Yeah, you ready? One, two, three. Shay Natalie Spisky. Merchants. <laughs> That, you guys tricked me. You tricked me. That was good. People have said that before, though. Natalie Merchant? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. 10,000 Maniacs. Yeah. Do you take any influence from Natalie Merchant? No. No. None whatsoever? No. Jer- Jeremy Gloff, he's one of my dear friends, and he is one of the people who said, do you sound like Natalie Merchant? So I have gotten that before. Yeah. And he's always tried to get me into listening to her. And, uh-huh. you know, every song that he plays me, I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember this song. This is a great song, but I just never go Moving there on. on my own. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's okay. I mean... Uh, yeah, anytime I, I've had a musician tell me that, oh, uh, people say I sound like blah, 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 blah. 
they, we never listen to that person. <laughs> like, we're never, like, as like, we're like, mm, how can I sound more like this person? That's a good way to market myself. Uh, no, but it's, but I mean it as a compliment. Thank uh, you. Yes. You know, because, no, uh, I mean, she has an amazing voice, so I would never be mad about that. Well, beyond the, beyond the, the singing prowess, I mean, sure. Yeah. She's got great singing prowess, but you have great singing prowess oh, as well. Thank you. And, uh, you know, talking again, coming back to like the writing, am I making you blush more? I'm <laughs> yes. sorry. I'm, I'm going to just make that a goal. Like if we can get like a counter or something somewhere, yeah. how many times we can make Shay blush today. Um, when it comes to like the writing, I don't mean that to say you don't sound authentically like yourself. No, I understand what you're you saying. You do. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's just a call to something else that's familiar, which is what we all do. We all do that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, we are getting near the end of the show. We probably have time for maybe like maybe two more if we can okay. do that. Can we do one more now though? Yeah. Awesome. Did you want to just do Kana Kwanessing or do you want to say that one is the end? Let's just do Conor Cornessa okay. and then, then next, sure. like, maybe, maybe we've got 44 minutes. Nope. Left. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nope. no. That's inaccurate. <laughs> That's okay. Don't scare us like that. No, no. Um, <laughs> okay. This or, is... or we're about we could, 15. We're about 15. So we're or good. we could do Pop Skull now and then Conor Cornessa if as the outro. Are you guys okay with that? No, we won't. All right, then let me retune. There we go. Sorry. So no, that's yeah. okay. No, that's okay. So while she's tuning, I'll just remind everybody once again, we are live streaming right now from Facebook, WMNF's Live Music Showcase. That's where you find the live stream. If you go and follow that page and like that page, you'll get a notification every time we go live because we do go live almost every week and every single time it's new, it's different. Every band is different. We are most weeks, we are live, live, live on the air with whatever band we have that week. So facebook.com. WMNF's Live Music Showcase. Uh, you guys ready? I'm ready. Awesome. Go All for right. it. So this is called Pop Skull. Twice I will bring you in To prove you're really real But nobody is Cause we all leave eventually Fantasies fade faster than they feel When you go, I hope to be there by your side Your first drink in the morning and your last drink at night So drink me in, I'll drink you in Drink me in, never I could be a still With cold matters, you Nasty thoughts, but that I would do to you. So for these days, I like heads on to the earth. Turn me with a shade to see how well a hundred pull. And drink me in, I'll drink you in. Drink me in, never. Listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. I'm your host, Ken Apperson. We have been live today in studio with Navin Avenue. 
You guys have been such a joy to have in here. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much for being here. Uh, they've got a new album out, A Little Warming. Book one. Yes. A Little Warming, right? Yes. Um, I did just post a link to their Spotify on our Instagram page. So if you follow us on Instagram, just go in there and watch our stories. Um, if you don't follow us already, it's at live underscore music underscore showcase that's how you find us i'm taking a look at the live stream right now on facebook we're also live streaming on facebook if you're just joining us uh, we do have some comments in here i'm loving it uh ghost motel oh nice got these folks booked next month love those guys that's great uh let's see uh michael i'm gonna say your name michael michael scrid scride scrid i don't know uh he says put adam in the closet <laughs> we did he's in the closet uh, Sebastian Erickson, watching from Castro Valley, California. Love it. Uh, Jamie Freeman Mal uh, Malloy. Malloy, love, love, love. Deborah Mariposa, Deb Ruby, yeah. says, hi, gang. Deb Ruby loves you. She spoke about herself in the third person oh, just for you guys. I love you that. Too, Deb. Uh, Sebastian says, happy anniversary. Thank you. Uh, Jamie says, already got mine. I think she's referring <laughs> to the, uh, the hard version, the, uh, the hard, uh, hard bound version. Um, Sean Kyle says, whatever you do, don't ask Derek about the dog man. <laughs> We're all laughing here. I love it. Yeah, okay. It's, uh, it's, uh, don't do it. And we don't have time for yeah. it. We don't have time for it. <laughs> okay, fair He's enough. Out He's, out there, He's out there. Okay, the dog man. I love it. I am the dog man. No. Um, so on this show, as we uh, as we always like to say, there this show is is very unique on live music show okay, uh, on WMNF. 88.5 if you're listening right now on your radio thank you so much for listening in your car at home wherever you might be listening at wmnf.org we have a live feed of the audio on the website for this show and every other show on the radio station our crew on this show is much bigger than most other shows mostly because it just had takes a lot of moving parts to put together a show like this so uh today subbing in for mark perfetti on the uh audio engineer in the master chair over there is bill dudley thank you bill so much bill's been this been part of the show for a very long time he was the show's host for a very long time before i got the uh, opportunity to take over and bill i just want to say i appreciate what you've done for this show for the past years and what you do for this show now thank you so much for being a part of it love having you here hope you get to keep coming back too uh we have bob hocus our video director richard stone is is the video production post video production and audio production sorry video production marcy connors is on our camera micaiah caldwell is our board op today pam robinson is our audio assistant chandler colada is snapping some photos thanks buddy he's taking a photo of me right now <laughs> is this a photo or is this a video it's a photo Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> I love that. Uh, okay. So we do have just a little bit of time left, but it's like I said, it just flies by yeah. as it does. Um, this show and this episode, like all the other episodes, even if you're not tuning in for the live stream and you can't tune in for the live stream, you can check out this episode and all of the other, other episodes on WMNF's YouTube page. Just search, just, just search WMNF Community Radio. I've had a lot of coffee today. Just <laughs> putting that out there um i'd love to hear one more song we might even be able to sneak in another one if you have enough if you have two more one more this one's fairly long like, this, this one's fairly lo long it's a longer one okay so be well then before we dive into that um i do want to ask one more particular question um and it's about um the name navin avenue mm -hmm. tell me about the name well, Navin Avenue is a proper street here in Tampa, in Seminole Heights. Yep. And we used to live closer to it than we currently do. And um, I would take walks down it all the time. And I just felt a lot of really good energy from it. And there's this big pink house on Navin Avenue. And I was just always intrigued by it. So I kept thinking, like, who lives there or who could live there? And imagining who lived in this house started creating these characters for me. Interesting. And so then it was like, okay, well, because I'm so creative, I'm like, well, there's a, <laughs> there's a guy character and his name is Navin, of course, okay. you know, and then, you know, from there, there's, you know, love interest and things like that. So it just kind of bloomed from the taking walks down this road and letting my imagination just kind of go. And so this kind of came out of that. The whole thing yeah. all came out of the name. I mean, well, all came out of those experiences. That's what started it rolling. Okay. Yeah. And so then there were other little pit, bits and pieces that kind of made everything work together. But okay. That was the the impetus. Yeah. And then so the a little warming book mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. 
is the house that's on fire? No. Okay. Well, I don't want to spoil the whole story. Yeah, I don't want to, yeah. But that the big pink house will come to play in the third, in book three. Ooh, so. okay. <laughs> so that's the, I should say that's the last, last question. But yeah. what what's next for Navin Avenue? What are you guys working on? What are you working towards? Well, now that we've got the first album done, we're going to start on the second. Yeah. yeah. Start on the second one and then do the third one and then we're done. And then that's it. Yep. Band's done. Then we're going to start a hair metal band. Hair metal band. Uh -huh. Cuz you've done the Thanksgiving at uh, Crowbar. Yeah. Number... Poison. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was fun. So we want to do that again. <laughs> okay. And I love that too because like, you know, it it shows that you know how it is with artists and being artists and sometimes there is the stigma of pretension. You know, I'm too good for that. I'm too good for this. Not us. <laughs> and you guys did uh, Thanksgiving as Poison. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, how many how many songs did you guys do as Poison? Four. You did four. Yeah. Okay. Which what were the four? Um, nothing but a good time. Yep. Talk dirty to me. Talk dirty to me. Cry tough, and then every rose has its thorn. Of every course. Rose has, yeah. yeah. You have to do every rose yeah. has its thorn if you're going to be Poison. Yeah. What was your favorite moment from that concert? Um, <laughs> the most embarrassing moment was in the breakdown of one. I started clapping. There's a video of this on yep. the internet, and I'm completely out of time. Oh, good. But the other part of it was I love that, you know, Jeff and Derek and Adam got into it. Like, they put on the wigs, and they, you know, like, they made themselves look like 80s hair metal dudes. Sort and of. so, sort you know. Of. Okay, yeah. Still, Jeff had his Jeff flair, but, you know, so I love that. I love that we all got into it. Yeah. Yeah. And as far as, like, you know, essentially – putting on the costume of being a, a tribute band almost mm -hmm. in that regard. Uh, did you guys find that to be super comfortable like as band members as well? Or were you like, mm, ah, this is fun, but I don't know if I want to do this again. Um, do it again. We'll yeah. do it again. Comfortable, but we'll do it again. Yeah, we'd do it again. I don't, <laughs> I don't think any of us would be comfortable doing it like full time. Oh, no. I don't know. But like maybe in 10 years. Yeah. So. Doing it, <laughs> doing it here and there is like just a fun thing. Yeah. It's cool. Sure. Yeah. Get All right. The do something different for sure. Well, I love it. I, and, you know, getting out of your comfort zone, taking walks, doing things that you wouldn't normally do are some of the best ways to find inspiration. Yeah. So artists out there, if you're just staring at your four walls in your bedroom or your living room and you're trying to figure out why you can't get inspired, maybe go take a walk. Mm -hmm. Maybe go take a walk down Navin Avenue. Yes. Might do it for you. Yeah. On that note, why don't you guys take us out? Yeah, there's a show tomorrow night that uh, Shay and I are playing solo. Oh, okay, at the, great. Uh, Tempest, Tempest, Tempest Project, Tempest Art Tempest Gallery, Project. Yeah, from six to nine tomorrow. So it's me, Shay, uh, David Kibbe, and Peter Newfer. That's great. That's great. Where can people find information about that? Where to it's go? It's on and all that. Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Um, yeah. 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 Navin Avenue, Look Facebook at you and promoting. Instagram. I love it. I love it. Yay! <laughs> Fans <laughs> promoting themselves. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Well, on that note, you guys, thank you so much for being thank here. So Navin Avenue. Check them out on Instagram, on Facebook. Check out their new music on Spotify and Apple Music, anywhere else you stream your music. And uh, if you guys want to take us out with your last song. Sure. This is called Crossing Conoquinescent Creek. is my calamity I 
Sin 